But an undergraduate program is both timely and needed, uh, and that has been confirmed by advice that we have received from both U.S. and Republic of Armenia government officials, including the Republic of Armenia Prime Minister, the Minister of Education, and the U.S. Uh, Embassy's Chargé d'Affaires. We expect that our undergraduate program will enroll approximately 300 students per year starting in September 2013. We aim to have a total enrollment of approximately 1,200 undergraduate students by the time the program is, is ramped into place over the course of four years between 2013 and 2017. The new undergraduate program will offer three majors in addition to a general education component. All undergraduate students will, require, will be required to take uh, a solid component of general education courses uh, in addition to their majors. And the majors that um, we will offer are in computational sciences, business, and English and communications. All three of these bachelor's degrees are practical, applied programs designed to avoid duplication of majors at other universities. They are tailored to employer and market needs, and they're important, we feel, for Armenia's economic development. At AUA, the language of instruction is in English, and the curriculum is based on U.S. accreditation standards and Armenian legal requirements. The curriculum emphasizes critical thinking and cultural literacy, and it requires a balance of humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences, as well as both English and Armenian communication skills. Let me just briefly describe these three majors. Computational sciences is an interdisciplinary subject that applies mathematical and computational techniques to simulation and modeling processes in various fields, including the sciences, engineering, medicine, uh, uh, economics, etc. Business is an interdisciplinary subject that will give students a basic grounding in economics, finance, accounting, marketing, management, and business communications. English and communications is an interdisciplinary subject that will offer many courses for students, and, and as well as, as uh, courses supporting students in all three of the majors. But as an American university and Armenia's only institution where English is the official language of instruction, AUA has a special role to fulfill in developing English specialists for the Armenian economy. And tracks within this major will include things like writing, translation, and public relations. The, um, the idea that, that AUA has been um, considering and proposing and developing an undergraduate program is something that we have said uh, uh, openly for some time now, including a press conference that we held back in September of last year. The difference now is that we have successfully made these proposals, successfully received permission from our accreditors, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, to do this, and we have received the license to do all this from the Armenian Ministry of Education and Science. With regard to AUA's admissions processes, um, we require proof of English proficiency and proof of mathematics proficiency. Uh, English proficiency is typically proven through the TOEFL or the IETLS exam. Math proficiency will typically be proven through the AUA mathematics exam, uh, samples of which will be available online so students will be able to see what those exams look like in the fall. Um, and th there's also the, the um, uh, blanket exam used in Armenia for Armenian proficiency as well. Applicants who wish to improve their proficiency in English or math can do so on their own, through other programs, or through the AUA Extension School, which has developed courses to help our applicants prepare for these, these exams. In addition, AUA will provide enrolled students with the tools and the resources necessary to achieve academic excellence 
including a writing laboratory and other academic and support services. AUA is committed to providing students throughout our media with the best possible education. As such, our admissions processes includes financial aid for students, and there are two aspects that I would like to mention about this financial aid. One is that we offer full need financial aid. We do needs testing, means testing of our applicants to determine how much financial aid they need, and we are committed to giving it to them. We are committed to the principle that no student will ever be denied an AUA education because of inability to pay tuition. That commitment is called a commitment to full need financial aid. We are also need blind. Our admissions process is need blind. And that means that we do not take financial need into account when we admit students. We admit students based on academic merit only. Then we look to do the means testing, and then we are committed to give them what they need to study. AUA also offers a number of other financial aid opportunities, including tuition assistance and, and merit-based scholarships, as well as tuition payment deferrals. As I mentioned a moment ago, AUA is accredited by the Accrediting Commission for Senior Colleges and Universities of the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. This is one of only six accrediting agencies for higher education that is recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. For example, this is the same accrediting agency that accredits the entire University of California system. Following a thorough proposal process, which included a visit from the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, a panel visiting our university, the commission approved the offering of the new undergraduate program. And we received the license from the Ministry of Education and Sciences on June 28 to launch our undergraduate program. Information about our undergraduate program is already available on AUA's website, www.aua.am, and more detailed admissions information will be available this fall. Applications will become available in January. We are now already holding information sessions for high school students and their parents on how to apply and what the admission requirements are. And again, uh, please check our web page for the dates and times of these. So we look forward to um, hearing feedback about this. We look forward to uh, giving more students in Armenia the opportunity to obtain an American education in Armenia. If you need further information, please check our website or call 512-9797. We will also be holding information sessions for students and parents about our application process and financial assistance. Again, please check the website for dates and times. We thank you very much for your interest in this, and uh, we'd be happy to entertain any questions that you have about our undergraduate programs at this time. Thank you very much. Havadal mes hamachat habart or the or the store or take a page like as if inch best for the haka bohusena asset make pada six and half to me. The shreds are ten or pidina tina sagana jack to chance the regret like inch the beach for one that would two good and each mechanic made of pidina. Um, we offer um, both need based uh, financial aid as well as merit-based financial aid for Armenian students. Uh, for foreign students, we offer merit-based financial aid. Uh, as I mentioned, we have a commitment to uh, full need and need-blind financial aid. We're committed to giving students what they need to attend here, and we don't let that interfere with the application process, the admission process. Um, Am I answering, am I touching on the question? Am I answering? I'm sorry, I didn't see what question. Uh, oh, okay.
care vorăm aracea cum în bacalardatii astea, sau vor apăși într-un mai mișat tu să anocneri, iar ca în vorbim în meți varțele în gealu, a cu ce nu să anocneri în dur stăvă în heta gaiu. E arțul cum și tațul meu a venit în țadă vărăchi, dar ce un cărțițiu ne-a stat numai tu să anocneri, vor repetă bolorici vor ca o anume în la asta vor el. Acum, hascana, în ce cane, nu duc vor fizica rohana, apa hovele, a venit barțer vorea, cam, ți-am cam nu, ca ați ce o pierd, 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 So the, the question is that, that uh, in many cases in Armenian higher education there is a necessity to admit all students that apply. Um, the, um, our, our hope is, of course it's impossible to predict this in advance, our hope and our expectation is that we will receive many more applications than we have slots for. As I indicated, we are imagining uh, an entering class of approximately 300 students. Uh, we hope that this will be a selective process. We think that the idea of an English language on, uh, undergraduate program uh, uh, is, is the, the principal uh, <coughs> distinguishing feature of our undergraduate program from other undergraduate programs in Armenia. We think that there is demand for this. We think that we will receive many more applications than that, and that will allow us to be more selective. We also would like to make an effort to uh, attract many students from abroad as well. And we think that universities should be international places. Universities naturally should be international places. Other American universities abroad, for example, um, uh, are, are international institutions that have students from the country that they're in, but also have students from many other countries as well. That is the model that we aspire to, and, and we think that the mixture of, uh, though, though our principal commitment, of course, still is to Armenian students, we think some mixture of foreign students as well will, will help the education of the Armenian students, and uh, again, by, by allowing a, more, a larger application pool, will, will make us more, uh, allow us to be more competitive, make the applications Uh, the, the admissions process is more restrictive and thereby raise the bar uh, for the standard of education that we give across the entire university for all of our students. Հայաստանի <gülüyor> Տեղեր, որ տղտուկ արդեն սկսել է կամ մտացում եք, որ կտարացեք ինվորմացյան, որպիսի կոնգրետ էտ երկրներից ուսանողներ դեղեք ձեր մոտ էտ երկու հարցան, շնարակավություն։ Ես ուսանողներ դեղեք ձեր մոտ էտ երկու հարցան, շնարակավու in the country. We are in discussions with, um, with the Ministry of Education and Science about this. We don't know at this point how many slots we'll be able to, to offer. Uh, that will depend on our discussions with the Ministry. We do expect that, that I, I think the, the uh, uh, Ministry of Education and Science generally treats all accredited universities in Armenia equally in this regard. And, We would expect to, because we are an accredited institution, to likewise be treated equally. Um, but, but we don't know any numbers on that at this time. Okay. With regard to the second question is where in the diaspora and, and, and how we will advertise this. I, I think you're absolutely right. I think that many students in the Armenian diaspora would like very much to come to Armenia to study. I think it's uh, for them uh, 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 any 
important part. Now, many students, for example, in the United States do at least one year of their undergraduate education somewhere abroad. If you're a student of Armenian ancestry in the United States, it's particularly attractive to come to Armenia to do that study abroad. Uh, so yes, we would like to advertise for this. Uh, we do have a good number of Armenian students already in our graduate programs who come from different parts of the Armenian diaspora, from Iran, from the Middle East, uh, and, and uh, from the U.S. as well. Uh, I think on the average we've had approximately uh, uh, somewhere between one and two students per year from the United States on average over our, uh, 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 over our history. We think that, in fact, with an undergraduate program we could very possibly get many more. We will certainly advertise this in the United States. We'll certainly advertise it in the Middle East. We're likely to advertise it uh, uh, in particular to Armenian schools uh, in these places and uh, do our best to attract Armenian students uh, um, from, from a number of different countries. I think the United States, for example, is an obvious place that, that we could get many students from. Lebanon, Syria, Iran, etc. Western Europe as well and Russia, certainly. Uh, yes, it's Yeah, we would expect high school graduates to be interested in our undergraduate program. We would expect uh, students that have completed an undergraduate degree to continue to be interested in our master's programs. Uh, I uh, there are courses which, by law, we will give in, in Armenian. For example, courses in Armenian history, Armenian language, and language and literature as well, uh, must be and will be given in Armenian at AUA. Uh, those courses will address Armenian language proficiency. And um, we will also have uh, our, an Armenian proficiency exam will be one of the admissions requirements to AUA as well, and that will continue to be true. We will aspire to teach all of our students um, proficiency with the Armenian language while they are here in the undergraduate program as part of our general education requirements. Um, though as um, the, the other courses, however, will be taught in, um, in English. This is not a, a special concession uh, from, uh, uh, from any law. It's similar, for example, to what the French University does. Uh, uh, it's it's uh, uh, it, it is a 
lot of things around being involved. This little thing was very city as well. That's true. Անգլերը եվ հաղորդակցություն բաժին է, այստեղ երեկ ճող ունի գրավոր լեզու, թարկմանություն և public relations։ Այսինքն ուսանողը ինքը պետք է ընդրիթ է այդ երեկներ պարտադիր են, որ կանով է ազատ լինելու ուսանողը um, in each program, there is an opportunity for students to develop a little further in each one of those programs. For instance, in English and Communications, one of those, uh, what we're calling tracks, a student with uh, his or her advisor will determine what might interest them uh, most, what they want to explore deeper, and they'll be able to choose that track and hence further development in that area of, dis of the discipline. Uh, it will be the student's choice uh, in collaboration with uh, his or her advisor and the student can also choose to do something a little bit more general where they don't necessarily make that commitment to a specific degree of, of, um, of learning in that particular track but they want to learn more about the entire field. So it is the student's choice. There is quite a bit of choice in the general education component as well as the track component of the programs. Actually, if I may, there's um, two questions ago. There was something that I wanted to say but forgot to say it at the time, so let me just say it now. Um, and this had to do with um, possibly students from the diaspora coming to study in our undergraduate program. I wanted to make the point that because we are accredited in the United States, our degrees are recognized and our credits are transferable to other American institutions. So it is possible, for example, for a student to come here from the United States, study for a year, and those credits can be transferred back to the home institution. And we can, that, that is possible only because we are US accredited. I'm sorry, I meant to say that in answer to your question, and I forgot, so I'm just going back to it now. I We have about 380 students in our master's programs right now, approximately. So, almost 200 per year in our master's programs. When the undergraduate program opens our nominal figure that we're, and, and this is all approximate, but our, our estimates are about 300 students per year in our, in our undergraduate programs and will continue with the approximately 200 students per year in our undergraduate programs. This year, for those uh, little less than 200 graduate slots, the last I knew we had about 340 or 350 applications. So that gives me an idea what the ratio is. <laughs> Dominical Hartum Chikan, Nora Nassim Shanagatun, Lerga Katnavelu, Ted Packet Nerun Mitch, Kutnek Avili De Uchun, Hayenov, Uncle Ganov, Yevasem Ashnagatun, Ted Hadar Kutuna, Anshush, Yevod Mes, Ted Pashnetik, As Oro Vor, Ilav Habad, or Menemes Hamar, Ted Hadar Kutun, watch me in American, Hayasan American Hamasadan, Pats Akun, Gutuna Hayasan. Sarkatsma, Shachna.